hey you guys welcome back to my channel this is alice's kitchen now in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys who prepared this amazing sicilian meatloaf if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet please go ahead and do so also to turn on your post notifications you can always be notified whenever i upload a new video now let us cook For our Sicilian meatloaf, here we have our fresh ground beef. I'm also going to be using some sliced ham. I have some mozzarella cheese here. I have my fresh spinach. I also have garlic and onion powder in these. Here I have my steak season. I also have my breadcrumb. And this is going to be one of the binding agent alongside the egg. Here we have some barbecue and honey, barbecue sauce, I should say, and honey. I also have some chopped onions. Here I have some Cajun season. Here I have my red pepper flakes, meat season. I have some dried parsley flakes right here and some black pepper. First, let's just set these aside. We're gonna make room for the ground beef so we can add all these amazing ingredients. Okay guys, first we're gonna be adding our egg and this is one whole egg. Our breadcrumb. chopped onions oh my god i wanted to add um bell peppers but unfortunately i didn't have any in the fridge i also wanted to add ketchup that's the reason why i'm using this barbecue sauce let's just go ahead and also add our season guys I know this is a lot of season, but we need it because we want our meatloaf to be real flavorful. If you guys follow my YouTube, I will be sure to list all the ingredients and the measurements down in the description below. So please be sure to check that out. This is the onion powder and this is about half teaspoon of onion powder or one teaspoon onion powder oh. so guys this is about one teaspoon of garlic and onion powder now using a glove i'm just folding all ingredients into the ground beef and this was oh my god guys this was so flavorful i promise you it smells so good it smells so good already I doubt this is even all the ingredients they use in a Sicilian meatloaf. Guys, I'm just putting my own touch on it. I found this recipe on YouTube and I decided to recreate it. It was amazing. It looks so good, especially how the chef prepared it. It was amazing, so I totally decided to recreate this. Oh my god, this smells so good. It smells amazing, guys. It smells so good. Do you guys see how I'm kneading the ingredient in that ground beef? Like, look at that. It has to taste good. Mm -hmm. This smells amazing. Wow. Okay. Now we're gonna roll this out. Let's remove these gloves. So guys, the purpose of placing that film on the cutting board, it's because I don't want the ground beef to stick to the cutting board. Plus, it's going to be easier when rolling. Just add some plastic there. Then we're going in with our ground beef. Okay, 
think this is even too much for myself but I'll have a lot of okay now I think this is too much for me because I am cooking for myself so but we shall see at least I'll have lots of food I don't have to prepare anything for the rest of the week I want this to be really flat you know what I'm gonna do you guys won't see this but what i'm actually doing is that i'm also gonna be wrapping that um rolling pin so it's easier also to roll plus you don't really wash cutting pin because you don't want the water to like go inside that and form bacteria so i'm just gonna be wrapping it with plastic also so it's you know easier and the ground beef doesn't really stick to it now we're gonna do some rolling yeah baby I had no idea it was gonna be this much ground beef. That would be less, unfortunately. Uh oh. But that's fine. We're gonna eat every bit of it. We're gonna be adding our spinach. Let's first add our spinach. I love spinach. Then we're gonna add our, or should I add the ham first? Which one? Okay, let's add the ham first. First, ham first, and then spinach. Yay, baby. Okay, man, this looks so good already. It looks so good already. Then, our cheese. Mmm. And you can never go wrong with cheese. Yeah. You know what? Let's spray it all over. Now we're gonna roll. Let's do a little rolling. Now you guys see why I add the plastic. Well, not just that reason, but. so you guys can see it. I want to wrap it very tightly. This is how it looks after, guys. Wow. Let's remove the plastic. And you know what? Let's tap this cheese inside. Nothing goes to waste. Absolutely nothing. Yeah? And look how pretty it looks. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
know, guys, but okay, how am I gonna get this off? Okay, boop. Yay, it looks so good! So, guys, I already have my oven at 350 degrees. I'm gonna be cut this for about 25 to 30 minutes, and yeah, even though I don't think it needs that much time because it is ground beef after all. So we're just gonna watch this for about 20 to 25 minutes. Let's just say that. And I'll show you guys how it's going. But first, let's wrap it. And this is like my version of a Sicilian meatloaf, guys. Like I saw this on YouTube and I'm like, okay, I have to recreate this. Like this looks so good, but with my own season. Okay, okay. So 20 to 25 minutes and I'll see you guys back here. So guys, I didn't have any ketchup, so I'm just basting it with barbecue sauce and honey. So honey barbecue sauce. And when I tell you, this was so good. The combination, everything, it was delicious. Now I'm gonna place this back in the oven for about five to 10 minutes. So guys, using a rubber and the wooden lifter or spatula or whatever it is. Now I'm just placing it on that cutting board so it's easier, you know, to cut. So guys, here I am slicing into that meatloaf and oh my goodness, just smell. Oh, just so good guys. Just amazing. Like this is something that I'll definitely try again. And I did went ahead and I had this with mashed potatoes. Now look at the steam coming from that. Just amazing. It was so good. I do hope you guys tried this recipe. Look at that. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Now here we have it guys and I just had it laying down on a bed of Italian parsley. <laughs> How bougie. <laughs> I do hope you guys enjoyed the video as well as the recipe. I love creating videos for you guys and I promise you I'll see you in the next one. Remember to head on over to my YouTube Alice's Kitchen and Instagram at Alice's underscore kitchen. You guys can see all my recipes that I've actually listed in the description below. So please be sure to check that out and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.